Hi everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE247, reporting from the City of Angels, Los Angeles. This year, the City of Movie Magic hosts Seagraph, an annual graphics and visualization technology conference. Come with me, I'll give you a tour of the exhibit hall. This is Vicon, a leading motion capture system maker. The white balls of the targets on the actor's suit, along with the mounted cameras tracking them, capture the natural movements and turn them into animation-ready kinematics information. Here is another approach by Movella. This method uses sensors embedded in the actor's suit to capture and record the movements. So as you can see, without the target balls or the camera's restriction, the actor has much more freedom to move around and perform something akin to gymnastics. That's not to say that one method is superior to the other. Usually people pick one system or another based on the type of complex or simple action involved, the resolution or accuracy desired, the space where the action will take place, and the budget. Mocap or motion capture is an important part of movie making and animation, but engineers and manufacturers are also applying the same techniques to simulate and test ergonomics, user comfort, and prevent on-the-job injury. Some people need to capture human movements. Others, like architects and civil engineers, need to capture large infrastructures or buildings and turn them into digital twins. Sometimes, for archaeological purposes, they turn them into digital structures so that they could be reconstructed and preserved. For that, you could use this laser scanning device from Leica Geosystems, part of Hexagon. From construction to reconstruction, digital design technologies like Autodesk Software plays an important part in the reconstruction of the Notre Dame Cathedral damaged in a fire in 2019. To produce a full-scale 3D digital model of a cathedral, the project uses 12 laser scanners and a team of 7 engineers to scan the building and collect 46,000 images. The model is created in Building Information Modeling Software or BIM Software from Autodesk. If you need to scan a president, however, you may want to get in touch with University of Southern California Institute for Creative Technologies. This is the portable 3D scanning lab, the same one used to capture President Obama's likeness in 3D. It's a high-speed camera system that captures digital information amounting to millions of precise measurements within seconds. That's the basis for a 3D printable model. The finished product, a 3D printed bust, is now on display at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. At the tablet maker Wacom's booth, users flex their creative muscles on digital tablets and styluses. But do you know that you can also sketch in 3D? Feather, a tablet app available for free download, lets you sketch in 3D space using zoom, pan and rotate commands to add details in different surfaces from different angles and perspectives. For conceptual design, especially in automotive and aerospace, this method could be very effective to draw spline curves in 2D profiles that will eventually be turned into the basis for 3D concept model. 3D animation and rendering, even 2D animation with special effects, can take computing power, lots of computing power, and rendering usually involves multiple GPUs. At GPU Maker AMD's booth, we see this mini HPC cluster with AMD Radeon GPUs. Here, the firmware gives you the option to select and turn on or off specific GPUs to manage your animation and rendering queue, and it gives you a way to monitor how hard each GPU is working on your project. For 3D rendering and visualization, open USD. A file format that started with Pixar is now the standard in NVIDIA's Omniverse, an interactive environment for simulation and visualization. Rendering software makers like Keyshot here have already added USD support to their architecture. Keyshot is GPU accelerated, so if you use workstations or clusters with GPUs, you'll notice speed bumps in your rendering and visualization time. Seagrap 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of the conference, so there are lots of memorabilia and nostalgia to remind us of how far game graphics have come. At the classic Game Corner, 
a new generation of gamers are discovering the charm of the O. It's a conference made possible by thousands of volunteers like this young man from Korea. Next year, the event will be in Denver, Colorado, so we hope to see you there. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong for DE247. Bye for now.